हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी सी ग्रिड गेम इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ टू डी एर ग्रेड ऑफ साइज टू क्रॉस एन दैट इज अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट दैट आई ओनली हैव टू रोज एंड एन कॉलम्स आई यू कैन सी आई हैव टू रोज एंड एनी नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स विच इज एन कॉलम्स टू रोज एन कॉलम्स टू रोज एंड एन कॉलम्स कुल देन वेयर द ग्रेड वैल्यू रिप्रेजेंट्स द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स एट दैट स्पेसिफिक रो कॉमा कॉलम and two robots are playing on this grid and the first robot will start off from the very first beginning cell this one and he wants to reach the last cell which is this cell each robot may only move the right r comma c to r comma c plus 1 or down so the movement allowed is right or down this is the movement allowed and they are saying that at the very beginning of the game the first robot makes the move collecting all the points in the cell to its path which means that whatever he is traversing and when he traverses it is set to zero as you can see in the very beginning only the first robot is actually moving he starts from here he keep on moving and as he keep on moving he is collecting those points and putting that value as zero in place of that as you can see it places zero here right okay next is then when the first robot completes his movement then the second robot will start off from the same point which is 0 comma 0 and he also has the same target to reach 1 comma n minus 1 now he will collect the points but he will try to make sure that his points are as max as possible so he will you know uh, again as the first robot has choose all these points then the second robot can either choose this path or he can choose this path or he can choose this path obviously out of all the paths the maximum score which the second robot can take is 4 that is the reason the answer for the second robot is 4 now obviously both the players will try to play optimally when i say play optimally which means the first robot will try like the, you know the first robot will try to take the points such that he wants to minimize the number of points which the second robot can collect and the same way the second robot will try to maximize his number of points which he can collect ultimately you have to tell the number of points which the second robot can collect obviously it seems like okay uh, do as per the problem says the problem says that the first robot has the entire liberty to move in the grid in the very beginning phase itself so in the beginning phase what the first robot will do obviously he will try to collect as many points as possible then as as you can see obviously he starts from here and he will keep the value zero then he has two options now the 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 like the inner self says obviously he will try to take a maximum or a higher value obviously thus he will come at 5 rather than 1 yeah makes sense then he also again has two options obviously he will take the higher value then he comes here then again he only has one option then he will come here then it seems like that we are going towards a greedy approach in which we are you know going towards the corresponding points and now when uh, this is done which which means when this has all become zero now you only have multiple options right one option is that you can go from here and, and, and another option would have been let's say you go from here so what i can do ultimately it will look something like this let's say you have an array and you have some portions you realize that the first robot went to this path now your only task is you know that where the first robot went down and got right because again considering it is only and only two rows the path will always look like this only because i only have two rows right so i know that the first robot went down this path thus the ro the score for the second robot will be this much portion added with this much portion that is a score of second robot cool but here in this case as you can see um my robot went down like this but uh, obviously i can only went ahead with this path which means that uh, my score which i should be getting obviously is either the upper portion or the lower portion so i have to make sure that i will take in consideration either the corresponding upper portion or the corresponding lower portion so again this is a simple calculation which we can uh, end up doing now again you might ask arin why this because obviously uh, the first robot can either move like this if he moves like this then he takes that lower portion obviously if he takes that lower portion then it would have been much better that it he would have taken more lower portion or he can take a higher portion which means that here he is taking a more higher portion okay 
that seems good but will this work let's see okay for starting from three he has two options either he can go right or down obviously he choose down because of higher value he again has only one options left thus the score for uh, robot 2 will be the right portion okay now let's repeat this again for this robot he has two options right or down obviously higher value right now again two options right or down if i would have chosen the greedy way i would have chosen down but you see that it is not greedy i have to go right because because this is visible to me but i can easily see oh actually on the right side there's a very 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 high value if i take that it would have been pretty good thus i will make all of this zero then the robot 2 can only take this much value which is less for him thus we realize that okay greedy will not work we will have to try for all the possibilities when i say all the possibilities the possibilities look like what the possibilities look like okay the robot one the robot one can try like this he can go like this or he can go like this or he can go like this as i told you it will primarily look like you go you come then you go down once and then you go on keep on going right this is how the robot one path will look like thus we let's try for all the possibilities of robot one path which means that let's make this portion zero another time let's make this portion zero another time let's make this portion zero if i ask you if i have n columns how many possibilities of robot one movement will be there obviously there are n possibilities of robot robot one movement once he will directly go down once he will go one right one right and then go down once he will go two right and then go down and so on and so forth so if i will end up trying this movement and taking the corresponding sum then i will have to make matrix n times and n times and when i got one matrix obviously i have to make this matrix n times or you know uh, just modify this matrix n times and one time what will happen i have to put these specific all columns all n columns on zero and the remaining columns have to take a sum which is again n so brute force will be o of n square complexity which will obviously give you tle but still i cannot go greedy way i have to try for all the possibilities what i can see i can simply see that isn't it a bit pattern like thing that i know the robot one will next time move like this next time move like this so ultimately robot one is moving something of this sort then coming down then something of this sort and i also know that my robot two my robot two can actually move like okay my robot two will have a sum like either he will have this upper row sum or he will have this lower row sum but because of if you remember that n n such possibilities will be there for each possibility of arrangement for robot one movement i was taking o of n time because i was taking the sum of upper rows and lower rows and whoever is maximum that is corresponding score for robot 2 so to reduce this what if i reduce this portion which means for every i will still go to all possible arrangement of matrix but instead of getting the sum again like this entire sum and this entire sum again i can just do some pre computation and keep on making the sum how let's see so we realized that uh, i can simply gather let's say this portion of the sum which means that let's say if i copy this entire portion and just copy it above so how it will look like let's see obviously we know that let's say the robot one would have moved like this so imagine i have this sum already which is x and i have let's say this sum also which is let's say y when next time when next time my robot moves you know next cell so when he moves like this when he moves like this then obviously what is happening the only thing which is changing is that this specific cell value is reduced from the existing sum so if is his sum is x and the cell value would have been c1 here then this remaining sum will be x minus c1 and same way this sum considering this value would have been c2 it will be y plus c2 
So we realized that I can get the upper sum and the lower sum as I slide through or basically as I go to different arrangements, I can get this upper sum and lower sum very fast. So what we realized is I will still go to all the possible arrangement. When it's all the possible arrangement, which means that robot one will go down on the zeroth column. Robot one will go down on the first column. Robot one will go down on the second column. This is all possible arrangement. For each arrangement, I will easily be able to calculate the corresponding upper row sum and lower row sum, which means in the very beginning phase, in the very beginning phase, if I just put it again, in the very beginning phase, if I just yeah, put it, so in the very beginning phase, what will happen that my robot one will move something of this sort. Thus, the score for robot two will be only right portion. And the score in the lower left will be zero. And this is how I can start off that next time the robot two score will be this portion, which is I will subtract. So I will just keep on subtracting these columns value from my upper score and adding these columns value from my onto my lower score. Let's see how the code would look like for it. So obviously, as I mentioned, I need in the very beginning, I need to have the corresponding upper row sum to be more precise upper row sum up till this point only. Right. But still, I will let's say calculate upper row sum entirely let's see if i calculate entirely again it's totally up to you how you want to write the code but there are multiple ways let's see if you can get the upper row sum entirely then you have the upper row sum let's see if i just put the values c1 uh you know like uh yeah let's say c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 and let's say uh b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 then I will get the upper row sum that is my sigma of C, which is nothing but C1 plus C2 up till C8. Then I will also get the lower row sum, which is left sum. I should say lower row sum, which is left sum, which is in the very beginning zero, nothing. Now I told you that I will try all the possibilities that, okay, the, 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 the robot one will go through the first column or maybe the second column. So I will go through all the columns. So column is equal to zero and then column is less than, you know, number of columns which I have, which is grid zero dot size and then column plus plus. Then for each column, I realized that, okay, right now I am at this column. I have this as my, this also included in my upper row sum. So firstly, remove this, remove this. So I will simply say that upper row sum, just simply subtract what value? Obviously the grid of zero, which is the zeroth row and that specific column value, which is column value, this column, I simply subtract it. Now, when it is subtracted, now my upper row sum contains this section and lower row sum contains the previous section, which is zero in this case. So I should now try to you know, I, will, I should now try to minimize my answer. So if I have, let's say, minimum uh, score for second robot, I will just say minimize the value. What with what? Obviously, in uh, again, I'm, I'm minimizing it. So I'll just keep the existing value here, which is minimum score for second robot. Again, ignore my writing. I'll just show you the very beautiful code also. But then this is minimizing the score. But obviously, the second robot is not dumb. If he has two options, which is upper score or second or, or you know, lower score, he will choose the one which will give him the maximum score because he is playing optimally. Thus, he will choose the maximum of my upper score, upper row score or the lower row score, lower row score. He'll do the maximum. Now, let's say when this is done, shall we go and continue further? further? Obviously not because as we go on to the next column, Obviously, this is how it will look like, but the catch here is that the score of lower row sum has increased. So I should make sure that lower row sum, lower row sum should be increased with the value of grid one and the corresponding column, which I have. 
does and as the next iteration goes as the next iteration goes i will still remove c2 from my upper row sum this is now it will become but c1 would have been added sorry b1 would have been added in my lower row sum and thus now i will compare whichever can give me the maximum sum that is how i can get it so now i am still going on to all the possible configurations of my robot one but at the same hand i am computing the score for my robot two in o of one time because of this step Let's see the code. It's exactly as what I showed you also that I'll compute the upper row sum as the accumulation of the entire first row, lower row sum initialized to zero and minimum second robot points as log max. I'll go on to all the possible columns, which is all possible configurations, down configurations of robot one. Then I will simply subtract from upper row sum the corresponding grid value. I will find the minimum score by maximizing the upper row or lower row. Then I will update my lower row sum with the corresponding grid because next time it will be used and thus ultimately getting my minimum point. Thus the time because you are going on to all the columns which are n columns in this case will be O of n. Now space, what is the space? Obviously you are not using any extra space at all. So the space should be O of 1. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Again, it's easy but uh, the video was a bit long. But yeah, no worries. I hope you guys got the idea. Bye bye. Take care. Do make sure that you see description and comments for code and other good stuff.